Like I promised, ladies, we have the hotties here. <laughs> Brad and Chris, Emerson Drive, Doc Walker. I know we have some banging going on, but first of all, thank you very much, boys, because we actually get to be in front of the house. Normally, like I said, we're in a hallway or in a small, tiny uh, dressing room, so thanks a lot, Brad. Yeah, well, Chris pulled some strings. Being from <laughs> around this area, he was able to talk to the powers to be in. Here we are. Yeah, I know. Well, it takes a woman to say, like, order in instead of trying to fight the awful weather here yeah, and going to a restaurant. We're, yeah, we're going to, there's one of my favorite restaurants in town here. I was going to take the boys out for some, uh, some East Indian food and you just mentioned that maybe I should order it in. I never really thought of that. So I guess it's, yeah. We've been, we've been away from the wives for a while. We're not thinking clearly. <laughs> all right. Yes, and definitely a while. So a lot has happened. So first of all, for you, Brad, congratulations, Emerson Drive, Juno nominated. Roll is on a roll. Thanks very much. Yeah, it's a good feeling, obviously, to have uh, you know music that you worked on over the course of 13 months uh, get recognized, I guess, in, in that sense. And uh, it's I don't think the feelings ever change when you get you know nominations. Obviously, it's great when you're able to take some hardware home, but uh, at the end of the day, longevity for, for us has uh, kind of been our, our key, and uh, it's nice to know that we're still doing this today. Oh, wow. Well. And amongst friends. Yeah. Yeah, good friends. Yeah, we're, we're lucky we were here. It was quite the drive from Saskatoon <laughs> last night. Bus drivers, yeah. I think they thought they were driving snowmobiles rather than <laughs> buses. We were, a lot of rumble strips. Yeah. A lot of rumble strips. I don't think anybody got a lot of sleep last night. It was yeah. quite a drive, but uh, we've really been looking forward to the show here. Mm -hmm. um, you know, obviously ever since the, the Jets came back, it's, you know, the whole city's been been in, insane. And uh, Well, it's tough to get a gig here now. Well, I know. <laughs> I know. Good thing, uh, you know, we're not playing here when the playoffs are going to happen, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, well, fill us in what Doc Walker's been up to. Uh, well, we've been uh, touring with these guys. A uh, new single is out right now from the upcoming album. We're going to have, uh, probably have that out late late summer, hopefully, you know, get that out. Um, new single's doing really well. Fans are liking it. But, uh, you know, I think mainly right now, this, this circus that we got going across Canada has been... Uh, it's been the highlight of, of my career, I think, so far, you know, I mean, uh, just traveling around, playing with a bunch of friends, and, and the show has really come together, like, the fans are really, really digging it, so it's good, it's fun. Well, and it's kind of a fun time for you guys, because country's really changed. It's changed the whole landscape of music, too, with all this crossover, and a young fan base joining on. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, I think, throughout our careers, we've seen a lot of changes in the business, and... Uh, uh, at the end of the day, though, the fan base uh, that has been a part of both groups uh, over the years, I mean, they're out here in full force. Mm -hmm. And you're seeing a lot of people that, uh, you know, have maybe, maybe haven't seen the shows before. Uh, and I think it's a great representation of both bands being able to get up on stage and play the songs that have been on radio for the past, uh, you know, 11, 12 years. And obviously uh, collaborating a little bit on stage as well, too. It makes for a great show. Well, and that's all about chemistry, and let's talk about Nashville too, guys, because both of you have spent a lot of time there, and it's still, I mean, the place, I guess, for country musicians to get their mark, make their, pay their oh, yeah. dues. I think the main thing about Nashville is just the work ethic. Like, you go there and you want to write, you want to work, you want to, you know, buckle in and, and really, really get things done. And, and I think that's why, you know, when Dave and I, we, we do a lot of writing at, at home here, but, you know, we'll go for a couple weeks and just uh, hang out at a, place that we we got in Nashville and like the minute you're there we're writing so it's uh yeah that's a good thing about Nashville I mean I, I lived there for for a lot of years and and uh you know I'm just sort of a prairie boy at heart so I I had to come back home um, <laughs> yeah you missed nice the snow <laughs> yeah I, I, I missed this weather so much I, I came back yeah. home <laughs> well it's funny because you know what you never hear of LA being so inspirational I mean it's more of a I think a struggle in the party of right. uh, atmosphere there but um, for you, Nashville, the same thing? Yeah, I, I, I'm like Chris. I mean, I was born in northern Alberta, so it's kind of what I always call home. I always will. Uh, in the beginning of our career, when we first started putting you know, songs out, a lot of our work was down in the U.S., so it kind of made sense at that time to set shop up there. Um, but I'm finding more in my, my 30s that uh, I'm getting you know, pulled back to uh, the northern part of the country. So I can definitely see uh, myself back home. We're kind of back and forth a little bit, spend you know, a lot of the summer back home in Alberta, and, uh, and then leave when the snow flies. So it might be a good thing as well, too. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I think all things happen to good people, and I think both bands have that kind of same philosophy. So 
We'll see well, you next you. year at the Junos. I know I'll see him at the Junos. Yeah. But you know what? Just yeah. try. Why don't you try and just get it right so you're both in it together at the same <laughs> well, time? Then, then we'd be competing, so we can't really do that. Eh? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, they've got a scam here going on, folks. Schedule. Even on stage, too, folks. Well, Emerson Drive, Doc Walker, get their records out, and we always love them. For Backstage, I'm Tracy Koga.